Here in this video, we are going to discuss uh, an inequality and equation. So these are some of the things that we will talk about. So we are going to talk about uh, equations, uh, inequality in one variable, maybe some word problems, and then linear inequalities in what, two variables. So here we are solely going to discuss about these three here. So make sure that you join the channel for uh, more details on what linear inequalities in what in two variables. Now let's quickly understand what it means for equations and what inequality. So assume you get to the restaurant, right? So maybe you are the restaurant, so you ordered a rice and then together with some salad, right? So the, the cost of the rice is just like ten dollars or any amount that uh, you may choose, and plus what six dollars here. So automatically, obviously, this will give you what, six six dollars in all. Right? $16. Okay, sixteen dollars. You know, so okay, thanks to my student here. <laughs> so that is what sixteen dollars here. Now, here, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, we are having what ten dollars here, right? Ten dollars here plus. Assuming the waiter, the waiter here. Yeah, let's say the waiter or the waitress, whoever is available, forget what you bought in addition. But the only thing he or she can remember is that you gave her or him what sixteen dollars, right? So this guy is missing. So once this guy is missing, we can replace that by what x. That is the uh, 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 fantastic things about uh, mathematics. All right. So this guy is missing. So how do you solve this guy? Right. How to solve this guy will be in, uh, in the subsequent uh, question. So make sure that you pay attention. So the only thing about the equation is that it involves what equal sign. Right. That is the equation. It involves equal sign. Whatever is here must be equal to whoever is available. Right. So how do you solve this guy? Now look at the inequality. So the difference between two is that this thing is, is the range. What I mean by a range is that it starts from somewhere and so on and so forth. So for sure, the five years old boy is older than what a three years old, old boy. That is something that everybody knows what, in this way. Okay, what about this guy? So if you say five plus y here is greater than two, so this guy is missing. So, okay, so this guy here is missing. So how do you solve this guy? So the inequality here involves uh, this 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 symbol here greater than or equal to less than or equal to uh, and then less than and then or greater than or less than, right? There's a way of reading this thing. I have a full video on this thing, so make sure that uh, you subscribe to the channel. And then. Now let's see how to solve uh, these problems here. So uh, maybe Esther will help us do this thing. So now now. Now let's go to they say you should solve the inequality. Is that okay. Yeah. They say you should solve the inequality. Now it says that three into bracket s plus one is less than or equal to five into bracket s plus two plus or plus fifteen. So how do you solve that? So Esther has a very nice solution. Let's check that. So make sure that you comment down below if she made some mistakes and other stuff. And then we are all here to, to support her. So Esther, how did you how did you start? How did you start? So work is three here, so let's see. You use the three to multiply. Yes, I use the three mm -hmm. to multiply this in the group. Okay, the so everything brackets. in the bracket, right? Yes. I use this five to, to multiply this. It's okay. affecting only this. Okay, all right, so mm -hmm. perfect then. Then after multiplying, so what goes on? So if you multiply here, will give us a three S, and then this multiply, but I'll give us three. Yeah. So you are maintaining the less than or equal to Both symbol. Design. And then you are having this guy multiply, but I will give us a five S, and then this guy multiply, but I will give us a 10. Uh, 10 and then plus 15 so perfect so what is the next step the next step now you group like them okay the so numbers with the like variable them. will come to one side okay and the, the numbers without the, okay without the variable will also go to the to other side. side okay so perfect now so you send this guy to the other side of the equation right yeah. so that's the 5x mm -hmm. so the sign of this guy must change, change. to a negative. negative all right so here you have what negative mm -hmm. for 5x uh, less than or equal to the 10, 10 plus, plus or 15 and then the three has to come to the other side of the equation or mm -hmm. in some book you may choose to subtract three from what from both sides right you may mm -hmm. choose to subtract three from what, both sides right you arrive at the same point here. okay so if you group here you are going to have a uh, negative two s is locked less than or equal to after adding everything here, you are going to get uh, 22. 22 so we are looking for the x right yeah. so that guy is missing the the amount or what you bought at the beginning that uh, the which the waiter or the waitress also has forgotten is of uh, this guy, right? Mm -hmm. So how come before this, this this thing changes here? Because over here, I there is negative sign over here. Mm -hmm. So when you have negative sign, 
this man will change. Okay, so what it means is that if you are dividing by what negative, right? So you are dividing by negative. So, so the sign you have to say is very, very important. So once you are dividing by negative, the sign has to change. So something like this 2s is greater than, let's say, uh, 4, right? Here we want the value of for the x, not the 2. So we are going to divide it by negative. So once you are dividing by negative, this sign has to change, right? Yes. So this sign that will be s greater than, greater than 2. Is that okay? Very, very simple. So your final answer is S is of, uh, greater than or equal to, equal to 11. Okay, perfect. So this is a very quick one. That involves what? Uh, fraction, right? So this is a very nice one. That involves what? Fraction. So let's see how to solve this one. This is very simple. The way of doing this thing is that you have to make sure that you multiply everything by the LCM. You want this guy to go away. We let assume we, we don't know how to solve this thing by what uh, a, a fraction so but we know how to solve it by what a straightforward what i mean by the straightforward here is that uh, this is a linear right so this is something we call a linear a straightforward we are not dividing by anything so here we want to convert this guy to uh, a linear something that we know how to solve so i guess you should pause the video and try this thing come back and kind of check your solution